This special broadcast of AEAC is made possible by Crossman Corporation, Boomer X USA, Air Venturi, Hots on USA, Day State, Optisan Optics, Diana Air Guns, Predator Pellets, Air Arms, and Virox Sport. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, folks, we are here with Richard Turner, Turner excuse me, president of Umarex USA. We've got three very exciting products that I've recruited him to take us through today. Um, the very first one is going to be the, how do I pronounce it? Synergist. The Synergist, but before we get to the Synergist, I know you guys are going to string me up by my skivvies if I don't tell you now that we will get to the hammer and we will get to the Gauntlet 25, I <laughs> promise you. But if you could, Richard, I saw this and and right away it jumped out in your lineup. I, I know already this is going to be very meaningful to, yeah. to these guys. So if you want to take us through the gun and let us know what you're most proud of about it and maybe give us an A to Z. You know what, what I think is when we're working on this project for a couple of years, what we're trying to do is sort of upgrade that concept of the brake barrel. You know, and really over deliver and features and uniqueness of it. So what we've done is for the first ever, we have a multi-shot under lever that is 100% in line. So we start off, we have a 12 round magazine. So a gun comes from a couple of round magazines, a couple of these 12 round magazines. So you're walking into the field with 24 shots in your pocket, not always just having to carry a, a tin of pellets. Yeah. Uh, so we have a patented system we've been working on to where it's all 100% in line. So what we do is we have an indexing probe that actually pushes the pellet into the barrel here. And then we, we uh, process the air through that indexing probe, 100% new patented technology that that can do, and that allows us to say 100% in line. And you'll see how close the scope is to the piston chamber and to the barrel. Now, we shroud the barrel here so we are no dampening noise okay. in this, mm -hmm. but again, we're an under lever design, so by that, this barrel does not break open, so we've got that fixed barrel accuracy than so many consumers are looking for. Here, simple breakdown, and you'll see we tried to change the look and the profile just to give it a more progressive, modern, really a fact is a cool look to the gun. Yeah, it's when, when like what I said, when we first started talking, I was walking through their display, and this is a good idea. You know, you guys, you know, this came to be in a, a couple of years for us, but when I saw this, it jumped out as a clean, streamlined, refined, yeah. not like, you know, a lot of these tend to have a lot of overthought in them with this design. And I love the path that these guys have gone down with that fixed barrel and that under lever. I mean, that's only going to do great things for it. And it's just looking at it, it's slender, looks really slick and um, good stuff. We're excited about it. Uh, 177 caliber, so the standard 1,000 feet per second with lead pellet. Okay, and, yeah. and really, again, with the 12 round magazine then self indexes and, and it really keeps a low profile to the gun. So it doesn't have a lot of parts that can snag as you're walking through the woods mm -hmm. or any of that. And you know, always buy extra mags and carry them with you and it'll be a lot easier. Absolutely. Now I'm sure they're excited about the 177. That's yep. a good thing. But I know at home they're all thinking, oh, is there gonna be a 2.2? So can you speak to that? Yeah, I, I would say uh, it's pretty hard not to say then you'll see a 2.2 in the near future. I think we start off with the 177, but, yeah. but of course, you know, we're excited about the guys who are looking for 2.2s out there. And of course, that'll be a generation within the product coming. Awesome, can you speak to when and price point? Do we know yeah. that yet? So your price point's uh, $169.99. Okay. So uh, we think an exceptional that's, price that's point, strong. a lot of value to the consumer out there for an under lever, multi-shot, silence, gas, piston, gun. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we're gonna look for May of this year. So uh, you should be able to see it. If we're shipping in May, you'll see it in a lot of stores, first of June in there. So be looking for the synergists. Awesome, last question. Uh, the trigger, anything different there than what what, what they, what, I know a lot of these guys at home love yeah. your love your brake barrels. Yeah. Same as those or are we doing say, anything different? I would say a, just, just a normal trigger in this, nothing, nothing special. Just a, a normal, good, crisp trigger on Okay, there. awesome. Thank you. We're going to pause that camera. We're going to grab some other product because it's about 20 feet that way, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, as promised, here it is. I'm just going to shut up and let you talk because <laughs> these guys have so many questions. And this, when you, when you, I'll call it a tease. Yeah. When you teased with this concept, it's been, what, two years now? Yeah. Okay. You know, these guys pretty much lost their lost their minds when you started talking about the power levels and the direction you wanted to take it and what it's capable of and maybe if we have some new people joining us for yeah. the first time maybe let's like pretend that we all don't know what this is and maybe give them a top down but this has been two years in the making yes. now so I'm guessing unfortunately two years in the making you know 
it's fine. I, I'm guessing you saw something that you didn't like and you wanted to change and you wanted it to just right before these guys started handing over their hard-earned dollars yeah. for it. I mean, we Absolutely. get it. I, get I tell it. you, I always say innovation isn't easy. And to go build something that's already out there is pretty easy. But to truly innovate, it's easy. And, you know, we uh, we probably overestimate how fast we had and thought, but, you know, those, those final details than we are. And, you know, what we're looking at here is a gun that's made out of production parts. Okay. So uh, that's an exciting bit of news for us in here. A little history on the hammer for anyone who doesn't. Please. So, you know, a couple of, with the evolution of big boy air guns, what we really went into the mindset is what can we do different than over delivers and really gets way above what all things other than we know of big boy air guns. And, you know, they've been around for some time, but to really develop some significant performance features from just the air power and everything that, but then develop a great gun that can be used for hunting out there. You know, we've got 14 states now that offer deer hunting with an air gun season. I'd be very surprised we don't see that getting up to uh, 16 to 19 for the fall 2019 season. You see uh, the states are very interested in it. Consumers are really interested in it. So you're seeing this groundswell of, of hunting and it gives a lot of a lot of attention just because deer is such a popular uh, hunting species. Yeah, and to, to Richard's point, you know, these guys have a responsibility yeah. to the industry and, and to our future and, and being able to take 50 caliber platforms like this and take them out hunting, they have a responsibility to get the product right yeah. because they're paving the road for more of this, for more of us in more states. Yeah. So I think I speak on behalf of everyone at home that you know we, we get that and we're grateful for that. I promise you this, no one is more impatient for this launch than I am. I, I will I will assure you. We do we say we get communication all the time about it. So we're excited about this. We're here in the home stretch. I think if if we were a uh, running analogy, we see the, see the finish line right up there. And uh, so we're excited about it, you know, but, but let's just talk about some features. Yeah, Number one, it. first and foremost, is the power of this. So, you know, we can we can go 750 feet per second with 550 uh, grain projectile of a lead bullet. You know, we'll, we'll have 550, 350, 250 grain up there. So we're talking about generating 700, right over 700 foot pounds of energy. Let me just pause you right there. So we may have some folks at home that are kind of new to air guns. Maybe they, they, they're not, they're not kind of privy to yeah. speaking in foot pounds of energy. So by trade, I, I'm a cop. I was a law enforcement officer. It was my first job for several years right out of college. And the 45 cal sidearms that we carried those were generating 400-ish foot-pounds of energy. So to give you an idea of the power that we're talking here, you know, it, it's the real deal. Yep. This is designed for deer, elk, hog, Absolutely. bear. Well, let's just talk about other things. Yeah. Cape buffalo, American bison. You know, we're over 1,500-pound animals here. One shot, takedowns. Not a, not a toy. No, not at all. And, you know, I. You know, on this date, what I often do is I compare this to uh, maybe an old Sharps rifle, if you remember the Old West and Buffalo Hunters and everything, and you know, that bullet isn't traveling really fast, but it's a giant slug of lead. So when it gets there, the energy transfer and the ability to harvest an animal is unbelievable. We're just not doing it with powder. We're doing it with air. And, and speaking of that, so we start with 4,500 PSI tank. Now okay. what that allows you, it's regulated, but what that allows you to do is it allows you to get three full power shots at that and then probably a fourth shot that's about 85% power, which is still extremely lethal. That's big. Let me just pause them right there because there are other there are other big bore air guns in the industry uh, in this caliber, in the area of this caliber, and they're not regulated. So you tend to get one shot at full power, the second shot is kind of close to full power, and the third shot that just isn't. So. When Richard says we're getting three regulated full power shots at around six, seven hundred foot pounds of energy, that's meaningful to the hunter because let's face it, sometimes we need a good follow up shot. Sometimes we need maybe a couple of good follow up yeah, shots. And your, and your ass could be on the line when you need that shot. So this, Absolutely. Is, this is good stuff. And you know, one, one thing, the other thing about that consistent shot is it's consistent accuracy. You're not, you understand your accuracy, you understand your ballistics, and you're not having to readjust your ballistics for a second shot. Mm -hmm. So so it is great. Now, as we talked about, and I know you're familiar with, it does come with a two round magazine. So unlike okay. other big boy air guns, it's a repeater. It's a bolt action. So we've actually had in hunting situations, the second shot, shot within a two and a half seconds or two seconds of the first shot. So of boom, working clack, it. clack, boom. boom. Absolutely. So awesome. you've got a follow up shot. That's something really amazingly not done in previous air guns. So for those hunters out there, and, and for those of you who hunted, a lot of times that follow-up shot is so critical. So uh, you have a two-round magazine 
uh, in there. And so it comes with an extra magazine. So you can walk to the field with, with four shots preloaded in there. Uh, shrouded barrel, so we are, su are suppressing, the, ask you about suppressing the noise. You know, everyone asks me, is it, is it silent? And I'm gonna tell you, no. How do you make the release of that amount of air in a millisecond silent? You put you a silencer on it about this long and about that big around. <laughs> And they're out here. <laughs> and and then you have a friend to help carry that gun to the stand. That's right. You. So, um, you know, from that standpoint, but it is a greatly reduced noise. And I think anyone who's ever shot a big bore understands that the noise you generate from there is so different than a firearm. And it, it's muffled and, and really out in, I always say, out in an open condition. You're like, what's that or what did I hear? Yeah. So, it, so it's really great in that regard. Uh, it's got multiple safety systems in here. Uh, it actually has a plate safety in here to where it can't shoot unless the magazine's in. All right. Uh, there's the normal uh, thumb safety okay. right here as, as well as we do have a travel safety. It's, it's not required. You can remove this, but if you want to, you can actually screw that all the way down and then that'll prevent the gun going off. You can unscrew it with just half a rotation or, or a full rotation of the on the back when you're ready. Or if it doesn't matter, it's not necessary because you have these other safeties. If you wanted to remove that, it's just a third safety option okay. on the gun. Not a bad idea when we're talking this much power. Absolutely. So um, again, you know, for us, uh, we have three lead rounds we produce and then a copper uh, polymer ARX round been specialized and so all of them have been proven exceptional in the field we're talking about pass-through shots on big animals okay so for clarity you can get ammo from Umarex they Absolutely. have several types available yep. maybe you have somebody at home where they have a favorite 50 cal yep. you know slug yep. can they use it in here you know you could put it in there but it but for utmost accuracy you're gonna want to use our ammunition okay uh, because it's designed specifically for this gun, you know, uh, 250, 350, 550. And, you know, I, I know everyone's out there who's just shot maybe centerfire rifles and has never shot a 550 slug. Right. I assure you, it might be moving slow, but it gets the job done. Yeah, it's like probably very similar to shooting black powder. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, can you can you share anything of interest about the barrel itself? Rifling, so, how it's made, where it's made. So you know, what just from this, there? just for this standpoint, we actually make this barrel. You know, Umarex is a uh, partner of Walther Firearms, so it is a Walther-made German barrel, uh, and so we're really excited about that. Uh, this is manufactured here in the U.S. That is a German barrel that comes in, so we want that precision for accuracy, and we're excited about. Uh, but assembled here in our Fort Smith, Fort Smith factory. Now I know what everyone wants to know is when it's coming. Well, yeah, we do. But before you get to that, I, I do want to. You answered the question, and I wasn't sure if you yep. were going to be able to, but last year when we were in Germany, these guys alluded to me that you know one of the reasons we, we've, we've, we've gone into two years instead of one is they made the decision that they wanted to bring that manufacturing of the barrel in their Walther plant in Germany. And if I'm not mistaken, isn't that the same plant making like Olympic gun barrels Absolutely. and biathlon gun barrels, Absolutely. like these kinds of things? So Absolutely. I, I'm glad you said it, because to me, that's a huge selling point. It says a lot about, you know, how important this gun is to you guys? We know precision shooting, even though we're, we're not, uh, this isn't a competition gun, but precision shooting for this person is important. And so that extra aspect and the other thing I think is exciting is our German partners over at Walther Germany are really excited about that, being able to make that barrel uh, as part of it. So. This is all good. Now I interrupted you. You were gonna talk about when and how much? Yeah, so uh, let's talk about how much, okay. $7.99 out there and what we're trying to do is enable make this affordable where you can get out there and hunt at an affordable price not too much more than a lot of normal bolt action 30 out 6 308 rifles out there now when i'm going to tell you everything's looking here in the april uh, again this gun is built off production parts so now we just go through the process where i got a lot of components in we just go through the final touches of it uh, so again we're seeing the finish line in there so we're excited uh, I may have, I probably have said, I think it's going to be this month before, and I was wrong. And, and again, I tell you, there's, I've said it before, there's no one who's more anxious for me to have in the market, but I want it right. Well, and so we're thinking this uh, uh, second quarter, early second quarter out there in the market, and we know there's a tremendous amount of demand uh, because we, just like you, we get the questions on a regular well, basis. Well, it's huge too. anticipation. I mean, you know, there's almost 45,000 of these guys following me yep. now, and, 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 and I, I mean this with all sincerity. I, I haven't been able to go, you know, past a week in the last 12 months where one of them doesn't ask either about this product or the 25 yep. gauntlet. So, you know, this is going to be a, a big load off of my shoulders. So I have to thank you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Because it's my job It'll to get them what they want. Too. So we're in this together in, in that regard. Awesome. Well, thank you. This has been awesome. Excellent. Appreciate you. We'll be absolutely. right back. We're going to grab that gauntlet as promised.
membership. All right, I feel like we need a drum roll. <laughs> Here it is, guys, 25 Gauntlet. Richard, take it away. Yeah, so uh, again, we've been really excited about our Gauntlet uh, product line. We started with 177 and 22, and then uh, late uh, 2018, the 25s begin to show up. This is a special SKU here for SHOT Show with Prime One Camo on there. Uh, but for 25 caliber Gauntlet, a little bit different than 177 and 22 because the intention of the, of the 25 caliber is often more about hunting than maybe it is just target practice. So with this, we still have the base tank of uh, 3,500 uh, PSI tank, okay. but instead of the 1,100 PSI regulator you find on a 177 or a 22 right. caliber Gauntlet, this is a 1,900 PSI okay, regulator. Which makes sense. We move that up, flows Absolutely. more air. Now, <clears throat> you know, as expected, <clears throat> we've raised the utilization of air and the amount of air with each shot. So we have brought down the shot string. So of as you know, a regulated gun in here, that's one of the great things that makes the gauntlet so wonderful and consumers are so excited about is the consistency of shot string, which leads to accuracy and ability to shoot. Well, so you still have that consistency and you still have that accuracy, but our shot string is probably about 27, 28 shots with 25, and that's with a deviation of five feet per second. At about what power level? That's, we're gonna shoot about 895 feet per second, okay. about 45 foot pounds of energy. Now it is an eight round magazine, uh, you know, 10 round magazine, the 177.22, but when we go to the larger diameter pellets, it reduces the amount of space in the magazine as you would expect. So an eight round magazine for the gun. Let me just pause Richard there for a second because we may have some guys and gals at home that are new to the gauntlet, but guys, what you're looking at here, this is a $300 price point, 45 foot pound by 20, how many shots? Oh, 27. By, by 27 shots, regulated PCP with an eight shot mag for the $300 price point. I, that, I think that, it, it well, go, right, ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, I think it's interesting because, you know, we, we probably are one of the most stringent when we talk about consistent shot, shot string, then we look at this five feet per second. If you were to look at that, and some people will say, well, 15 feet per second is my variance, then you're getting a lot more than uh, 27 shots. Too. Yeah. And, and again, if you're new, I was able to review one of these in 2.2 a little over a year ago, and this is a lot of gun for 300 bucks. It was powerful. It got a lot of shots. It was very accurate at 50 and 100 yards. And now that we're up in the game to 45 foot-pounds, that's only going to bring up that 50 and 100 yard game, especially when the winds start to come up. So this is a, there's a lot, lot, go, lot of there good going on here. Now the stock is different than I've seen before, but maybe that's just because I've been out of the loop. Yeah, How well, long have you been doing this? We, all we did is, is this was a shot show gun just to, just to show off what options so are out there. So you're teasing us? So we tease. So we put a camo up here. Again, adjustable comb for those who are not aware. So you can set that and then you can lock it in so yeah. you can customize it for you and I'll tell you, you, you talked about the level of accuracy. There's nothing more than our group gets excited about than when people send in, hey, I shot this at 100 yards or look what I hit, yep. a consistent grouping at this. And, and even some of our, our internal guys who are really good shooters in our range, shooting such precision in the range, just having fun with the gun. I think that's always impressive. It's always makes us proud and excited to see guys send us in that information. Absolutely, you guys got this dialed in. Now, they're probably wondering, okay, there's more power, it's gonna use more air, fine. Yep. One of the things these guys love about your platform is it's um, you know, it's got flexibility and yep. that they can kind of customize and tune it, you know, to we, their to their liking. Absolutely. We are, see are that we, we that? see that all over the place. Then then uh, folks are customizing and building their own and, and we love seeing those pictures. Awesome. And, and things like that. Now uh, I would presume that the that the cocking effort is more because we probably have a bigger spring in there. The just a, in. just a little bit more. Okay. Now you're not nothing that's going to be so discernible. And again remember we're not having to have that much bigger spring because all we've done is change our regulator. Yeah. We're releasing the spring is still the same okay. to release that charge of air. Okay. It's just our we've upped our regulator so we're just holding more air but we still release it at the same Man, pressure. So you're not going to see too much discernible difference All in right. And if I remember, this is about a, is it a 3,000 psi fill? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And the and the tank is the, about how big? Uh, 12, I think. Yeah. So you're asking me a question. See, you promised no super technical I know, questions. I'm sorry. I'll look it up and I'll put it down the screen. But but the, the path I was trying to go down is there's a lot of efficiency here. It's not the biggest tank in the world. You know, it's a. a it's not a super high pressure system yet. They're getting 27, 45 regulated foot pounds, foot pound shots. So, you guys have obviously put the time and the energy. Oh, yeah. in, in, I mean, I'm really bringing it for 300 bucks. That was the you know the objective when we started the project concept was let's over deliver what expectations are and let's bring new people in the category and let's really give them that 
that accuracy and that reliability at this price point than maybe they've never really had. So, you know, hopefully we've got some new PCP shooters. We've got some other experienced PCP shooters who are really excited about this product. And, and again, we do love the customization guns we see out there where people are really analyzing and, and build, customize it to their liking. Yep. Uh, any differences in the barrel that you know of? Nope. Is it being made anywhere else? Just We just yep. changed the diameter Just changed the diameter. Awesome. And uh, when? Oh, it's in stock right now. Is that the best news I could give? Not in this camera. Shame pattern, on me but, for not knowing that. But it, uh, in stock right now, so we're excited about that. Awesome. And did we leave anything out? I think we've got it. I hope that answered all your guys' questions. Richard, thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate your time. Appreciate everything you do for, for them, us, and I should probably say this, I've got confirmation that these guys are sending a 25 gauntlet at EC's way for review for you guys. <laughs> so stay tuned. Awesome. Appreciate it again. Thank Thanks you so much.